Here are the uh, boys for the New Jersey Futurity. One, a rebar man, owned by Paul Kinnear. Jimmy Tactor is up. 1A is out to Sir Alex, owned by Terax Inc. with Jim Matinas. Barn mate, no other option. The 2A, owned by Thomas Nurmi with Jeff Gregory. 3 is Real M.N. Don, owned by Solomon Bartling and Solomon Bobby Blanton, Jr. 5, Walter Payton, owned by Bruce Kearns with Bryce Truitt. 5 is Hand Glider, owned by Ivan Sugg with Duke Sugg. 6 is Don Boz Vito, owned by the Scott Jason PH and Lost Revenue Stable with Per Hendrickson. And the 7 Amazing Hannibal of the Berry Stable with Ron Pierce. Exacta trifecta, 7 minutes till post. Gate is rolling. Here they come, and they're off. Breaking in the upper stretch was no other option. Breaking right before the gate left was Walter Payton. So, for the lead on the straight and narrow, but we've got another breaker. In the meantime, it was Sir Alex. Sir Alex, so both halves of the due entry have made a break. On for the lead, though, is real MN Don, confronted outside by Hand Glider, and Hand Glider steadily with soft hands behind is edging up to the lead. In third is Don Boss Vita. Then we move another three and a half back to Rebar Man in fourth. Come back to Amazing Hanover in fifth. Then the breakers, Walter Payton, can he bear it? And then it's another two lengths more to Sir Alex, and distance out of this group is no other option in a quarter of 29 and four fifths. So, leading the pack, the visitor from the Buckeye State, it's Hand Glider, separating, herself, separating himself three lengths. In second is Real M. N. Don, off stride in the back, when Amazing Hanover. Seven Amazing Hanover also has broken. So, it is Hand Glider from the outset, doing good things. Right behind in second is Real M. N. Don, and then it's Don Boris Vita. And Rebar Man, all of those have been trotting from the beginning. Everybody else has made a break sometime or other at the half in 101 and 1 fifth. And they take the curve and onto the back stretch. It's Hand Glider still coming through. Couple of lengths. In second is Real M. N. Don. Yet to be S is Don Boss Vita in third. Rebar Man is making no headway in fourth. Walter Payton in the backfield in fifth. Three quarters for Hand Glider in 132 and one fifth. It's Hand Glider gliding along a length and a half. Real M. N. Don with Dead Aim in second. Still in the thick of it. Don Boss Vita third. Another three back to the high stepping. Now breaking Rebar Man. The one Rebar Man has made a break. Going around that one is Walter Payton. Also made a break momentarily again was Sir Alex. So they come for home, and so far Hand Glider is taking care of business, and Sug looks left and looks right, and now can look forward to going to the winner's circle as Hand Glider has taken him wire to wire. Don Boss Feeder up the inside for second, Real MN Don third in 2-2-2. Two, two, and two. Five and Glider, two-year-old Colt by Yankee Glide at a Mystic Memory by B.J.'s Mac, and by Ivan Sugg of Deschler, Ohio, who did the training, and aboard with Soft Hands, Duke Sugg, and presenting Michelle Maraconda. Now we go to the fourth, exacta try, pick three, three, Congress Hill Rome goes with Mickey McNichol, eight, Midnight Meeting, Jay Randall. No changes in the fifth, none in the sixth, more in 12 minutes at 204. 